Hi guys. <clears throat> okay, this is a follow-up of the follow-up of the sexual identity, gender identity thing. Again, I'm going to do another one just to make sure that I was clear because I had a comment or two that made me feel like I still hadn't gotten through to people. So I'm going to be very, very blunt. All of the different sexual identities, orientations, um, everything, all of those were brought back into play and are being brought into play for all of you. Not for gay people. This, Those videos were not for um, uh, gay, bi, transgender, transsexual. It wasn't for those people alone. This is for straight people and really more for straight people. Because I want everybody to know, everybody to know that this information is being brought back on the planet for you to get the hang of the fact that you have always been, always been fluid everything. Because you are a god. You aren't a male. You aren't a female. You're not a this sexual or that sexual. You are an all gender, all sexual. And as you go to 5D, if you have, if you are attached to being male or female, heterosexual or homosexual or any of that stuff, that's attachment. And you will not go into 5D with those attachments. You can't even be attached to those. Now, you can like them a lot. You can have liked your experience as a heterosexual male. You can have enjoyed your time here, but you cannot be attached to it. You've got to be totally open and understand that you are never that. That was just a role that you were playing. It was a very small part of who you really are. And as you step into 5D, you can just as easily be a, a straight male or a bisexual female or a homosexual snail or a asexual bird you can mix and match all of this stuff any way you want to and you need to be able to do so because that's the fun of 5d there is no attachment there is no expectation there is no judgment there is just playing and the plane includes changing this skin suits the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it thinks. All of that is a part of the 5D creationary process. So you cannot be attached to those, those things. Which is why when people say we're going to go to 5D and are you going to be with your mate, if you both do not have the love of your life. If neither one of you are attached to the things that I just mentioned, and if you're both open to being whatever and not needing to be with each other and only with each other in this kind of crazy codependent thisness, then yeah, you can both go to 5D. But if you need to be this together, if you've got to be together and you've got to be in a heterosexual relationship where you're a female and he's a male, if you've got to do that, you won't go to 5D. You'll go to 4D and you can continue that relationship and it'll be fine. And if that's what you'd like to do, then that's where you'll go. And if that's what you guys want to do, lean into it and do that. But that's not the way it is in 5D. It's not that 5D is better than 40. It is just different. And I'm just telling you what it's like in 5D for those that want to go there. Okay? All right. Well, hopefully that explained this completely. I hope. <laughs> if I didn't, I'll do another one. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for asking your questions. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you to all my PayPal friends and my um, Patreon friends and those that have sessions with me, it really, really makes a big difference. I so appreciate it. Please give me a good thumbs up and push that bell. Subscribe if you haven't yet, please. And uh, yeah, huge hugs to everybody, and I'll see you later.
Bye now.